Hi, this is a second section of the high performance in Java 9 and we will be looking at the performance testing with JMH. And the performance testing uh, is very important thing when we want to create a high performance programs because until we did not test our code, we are not we know if it's performant or not. So we'll be creating a micro benchmarks and we'll be exploring and learning that JMH tool. And in this section we'll be setting our benchmark suit suit. We'll be creating benchmarks with warm-up period. We'll be avoiding dead code elimination in test and we'll be creating complex benchmarks at the end of the course. So we will be taking all, all knowledge that we learn throughout that section and we'll be creating that complex benchmarks. And this is the first video of our second section. It will be set up in benchmark suit. So first you will be creating a project with JMH. We'll be looking at the pom.xml. We'll be creating a really simple test suit and we'll be starting that performance test and looking at the result. So to create a project with JMH, we need to, the best way and the easiest is to use a Maven archetype and we need to generate a project that is an, of an archetype group by the org.openjdk dot jmh and then we need to use the artifact id jmh java benchmark archetype and we can use a group id and artifact id whenever we want to start our benchmarks we will use that command so let's look at our project we have our jmh program created here and we we'll, let's look at the pom.xml so from the XML uh, needs to have defined two dependencies. First dependency is the JMH core. And second is annotation processor. And we will be using a benchmark annotation to, to tell the JMH to pick up the test and execute it. So annotation processor is needed here. We are specifying a version of a JMH. And very important thing is to package our benchmark as the Uber jar. So it will have all needed dependencies inside of that Uber jar file. And to achieve that, uh, we need to add the Maven Shade plugin. So it will pack everything into one jar and we will can use it. And this is very important because in the micro benchmarks work on in the performance test, sometimes we want to execute our performance test on different machines. First test could be executed on our local laptop second can be executed on the virtual machine in the cloud and second on some very efficient physical server so you having that benchmark the jar uber jar file we can take the jar and take that jar and execute it anywhere we want so let's look at the first simple benchmark here so let's look at the first simple benchmark here this is uh, our benchmark so we are using a benchmark annotation. Pictures will be picked by the JMH. We will be using benchmark mode and we take set it to all. So we want we are interested in every measurement. We can specify that we are only interested in throughput, average time, sample time, or single shot time. We want our output be a microsecond actual because it will be a very quick operation. We want to have a free measurements, free, uh, free iterations of measurements, and each will take five seconds and one fork. So that code will be executed only in one thread. And our test method is very simple. We are creating just creating a a integer, then b, and we are summing it. So when we will sum it, it will happen something. But this is not a good code. But for the case of the first simple test we will execute it in the further sections we will be looking how the, why this is not a good thing and we need to use something to to test it better so let's start our test first thing we need to build our test okay our test is built so we need to execute our jar so this is in the dark target directory of course and it is a benchmark so jar and as we specify, we will have three iterations of measurement. There is a warm-up period. We will be looking at warm-up in the next video. But this is a measurement and we are interested in this right now. So after the warm-up, 
our code will be measured in the three iterations. Each iteration, as we remember, takes five seconds. So we see that it has our code is six operations per microsecond. Now we need to wait above one minute until our results will be finished. And in the meantime, we can look at the code. So our benchmark is the following. We see and every every annotation can be specified in the time unit. So we specify that we want three iteration, which can will be five, but default is seconds. But we can specify some other time unit if you want. Also, one iteration because we specify that we are interested in everything, so it will be counted average. Throughput will be counted also. We will have everything what we want to measure here actually. First iteration we will also have a histogram of our results, so this is a very nice thing in the AJMH. Uh, and we see results. So we see that average, uh, this is an average, so we have a 0 0.077 microsecond per operation, so it's very quickly. Our test method throughput is 2.6 operations per, per microsecond and we have a histogram so P99 is like we uh, have 20 microseconds per operation so this is our P99 per that simple method.